Hi everyone. So the first question is based on what you know, how would you explain the digital in digital enclosure? So basically how I'll explain the digital enclosure is more like a tracking mechanism. So anything basically various varying from surveys that I would take online or even buying something off of Amazon, um, they file the information away and maybe sell it to a third party. It kind of goes along with cookies, how cookies save anything that you use on to your computer and then you'll see an ad or something about that sub, something about that item that you had just bought um, a few days later. So say I was looking for a cheap book for school on a um, website, I'll come back and I'll be on Facebook and I'll see Chegg um, advertising that same book for a different price, maybe like an ebook or just a book I can buy. And I'm just like, oh wow, uh, that's weird. Or I'll be having a conversation with someone about a certain object or item that I wanted or I saw. And then the next day or the same day, but just later, I'll see an ad for that somewhere. And I'm just like, oh, where did these... Um, it's my phone listening to me, but I do believe we are being listened to with our microphones and cameras. They can hear and see everything that we do, what we like, what we talk about, and then they can advertise it to us in a different way on our cell phones or um, any mainstream media that we use. Um, the second question is, how would you compare the ideas of privacy presented by an author with your own understanding of privacy? In my opinion, I don't believe we have privacy and the privacy we do have we voluntarily give it away um let's voluntarily involuntarily it kind of goes hand in hand because they do give you those um guidelines to read before you do something or um like when you sign up for facebook you get the agreement that you have to read but people usually just press i agree before they even read it because they just want to get on with it and get to the app to use it. Um, a lot of people don't read it, so you are voluntarily and involuntary, involuntarily giving away your information without basically reading anything about it. So I believe that people are lazy and that they don't exactly educate themselves on what they're doing. So our privacy is basically not our privacy we are giving it away and I just don't feel that uh, people should have that big of a problem with um, third parties going through their information when you have things like Facebook Instagram um, Twitter and things like that where you're basically telling your whole life story to random strangers you don't know who um, those people are that you're friends with some of them may actually be your friends and some of them may actually be fake profiles um, catfishes um, anything like that so in a sense I don't believe we have as much privacy as most people think we do because we do give it away without thinking about it thanks bye guys